You are watching the Hillbilly of Luxury YouTube channel, and I have got a new watch to show you. It is a limited edition Bowdery. That's right, Bowdery is back in the house. My friend, he done picked up a bunch of Bowderies, and he's seen his limited edition one, and he said, man, I gotta have it. So it's called a Voyager, and uh, it's got the cool lugs on it, and it's titanium, and it's pretty cool. I mean, it's got some negatives, but I'm gonna show you right now. Let's check it out. All right, we got ourselves a shipping crate here by Bow Dairy, and uh, this is like their says their five year uh, anniversary watch. Um, I hadn't heard about them five years ago, so I think they just kind of popped up like in the last year or so that they started making something actually worth anything. But uh, the interesting thing about this packaging, you got to be careful. You know, when you pick these up, uh, it just dr it just dumps. Uh, so as, as funny as that is, you got yourself a little shipping container. It doesn't stay uh, in there at all. So be careful how you pick it up because you'll dump your watch uh, or the contents of the box onto the floor. All right, let's check this out here. You know, we got Bow Dairy with some Chinese underneath it. Numbers, uh, well, so we got a number... And we got ourselves the Voyager. Yeah, here's the... It's pretty good. That's some good card stock right there. I need to make some playing cards out of that material. Got number 86 of 888. A brand new field watch from Bowdery in 2023. Immense popularity worldwide since launch. Yeah, because it was, uh, you know, it's not a bad design. All it takes is to make a good design and people will like it. So we got 5th Anniversary Special Limited Edition. And here it is. We got ourselves a camo strap and this dope little watch. Oh yeah. I like these. It's good and lightweight. Titanium. I'm not a big fan of that clasp. Uh, does its job. It's got three micro adjusts, little ball bearings right here. Let's zoom in and take a look at it. See, we got little little ball bearings. That sh so that should last a long time. It's got a good uh, good action to it. So the clasp isn't built bad. It's just you know you got that stamped, you know. But hey, Seiko's doing it for a lot more money. And let's take a look at this dial here. Let's uh, let's get a little bit more intimate. Let's take a look in here close. What do we got going on in here? All right, so that's a that's a cool little doll. Let me let me give it a wipe. Let me give it a wipe here. All right. <clears throat> so we got like a kind of a fume digital pattern. You know, you got the lighter color in the middle. It starts to get darker towards the edges, and then we've got some camo going on in there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, It's kind of got, I don't know if that's the dial, so it's it's kind of almost got an iridescence to it. I can't really tell, but I don't know, it's a, it's a unique dial. It's got a good wind. Can't really feel much going on there. Let's check the time change. Hands feel good. They don't feel loose and sloppy. Which I believe this is an NH35 movement, so. And then, yeah, we should be able to do a date change. There we go. Yeah, it's a, it's a good movement. I mean, it's pretty much in everything now. The Seiko NH35. Let's see if we can get a date there we go so we got the she wonders is around like 11 30. yeah so not a bad change it's uh everything's working as it should we got these lugs here which are what really make this watch a little bit nicer unique um is the uh the uh omega homage I guess lugs which they're a little bit longer than uh, Omega I think 
and it kind of works, you know? Like, I feel like the, uh, it kinda, it's kind of like a mix between an Omega and a Seiko, because we got the typical Seiko placement of a crown, and then we've got the lugs of an Omega, but I really think that would look cool is if they polished the inner, the inner side of that bevel in there. It'd really make that pop. Um, or, or it would be cool if they polished that outer edge and followed it around, you know, in like a stainless steel version. But, you know, that would add to the cost. And, but, yeah, if that right there was polished all the way through on that top part, that would be that would be really cool. I'd like that. I think it would be a freaking sick design because it would really it accentuate the lugs. You know, it would uh, it bring them out, make them pop. But let's see the crown. We got oh we got a cool little uh, bow dairy logo there. A little uh, looks like a globe on a hour or hourglass and globe kind of thing. It's a uh, yeah, it's right there on their packaging. Let's see the case back here. So there's our number up here. Shows that it's a numbered limited edition. We got a little uh, pirate ship wheel on the back here, which I guess it's a. Uh, I guess it's fitting. What does it say at the bottom? What is that word? Badalt. What is this? Badalt? Is that B D A? Is that ones? What are those? I don't know what that is. B D A one one T solid titanium hundred meter water resistance. Fifth anniversary. So I got the cool little easy adjust straps here. And uh so we can take them off and enjoy the hardware we got. We got titanium loops. That's cool. This is a really nice and lightweight uh, NATO strap here. Especially because I believe this came with it. Let's check it out on wrist here. This is going to be a little tight on me because uh, it's not sized. Oh, there we go. It's not sized for me. Oh. But, oh, it's so tight. My poor wrists. It looks good, though. I, I'm not a big fan of this gap in these lugs, but I feel like there's a little, little bit of, maybe if it had a female in links right here, I'd like it better. Because the male in links look kind of a, a little bit weird. They kind of create a gap right there. I feel like if it was a female, it would have a, you know, a little bit better transition. But overall, it's not bad. I think I'm going to pick me up one. I've seen they got a brand new one out now. It's got what looks like tritium tubes. Hopefully, I'll have one of those in soon for review. Because uh, my buddy, the same one that bought this, he's seen those and was like, dude, I bought two of them. So, uh Hopefully we'll have uh, two on here for review, or at least one of them. Maybe I can get at least one from him. Um, but yeah, I like this bracelet. It's got a, you know, it's just push pins, so nothing too fancy. But at the end of the day, it's a field watch. You know, this is supposed to be a watch you can wear at work or wear out in the outdoors. And you, you really don't care if it gets beat up because it adds to its charm, you know, which is what happens to a lot of watches. Um, if you actually wear them on a regular basis, they get beat up. So a watch like this is going to always look good beat up. 
Like it's just gonna give it character. And it's, you know, it's one of those cheap watches that you're never really, really gonna have to get rid of it. You know, you can wear it for the rest of your life or wear it for the rest of its life till it falls apart. And uh, it'll still, uh, it'll still have served its purpose. And uh, you know, you don't really gotta worry about taking care of it because of its reten value retention. You know what I mean? Like a Rolex, like say this was a, you know, a, a, a Rolex Explorer. You know, you might be like, oh, well, it's made to be beat up and, you know, and taken everywhere. But, you know, you kind of, when you have that much money invested into a piece, you kind of want to keep it in good condition because, you know, you find out 30 years down the road that it's worth more money in better condition, you know, if it, you know, but Rolexes can always be uh, serviced and maintained, but for a cost. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching the video and, uh. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's uh let's see if we can take a look at this on NATO on the NATO strap real quick. Okay, I noticed something strange. Uh, it's got two sets of uh, of holes for in the lugs here. So I've got it set in one set of holes, but there are an, there's another set in here. So I don't know if one's specifically for this strap because you can't take you can't take these uh, these out. They are permanently in there. Um, so it came with these extra spring bars. So I don't know if that's just uh, something to do with the design or just what. I actually kind of like it more on this NATO, man. That really, that really looks good. This pass-through. Yeah, once I got it on there, it's got a really good, uh, you know, a really good effect. With the lugs, those those uh, liar style lugs, man, I think that looks pretty good. It's real simple to change. You know, you you got your it says Bowdery right there, and uh, yeah, I like it. Let's do a loom shot real quick. As you can see, the loom is pretty decent. It could be better, but what do you expect when you're getting a printed dial? There's, you know, there's not much, uh, there's not much loom. I'm, I'm sure the hour hands and the, the minutes hand would last a lot longer than the, than the indices. But anyways, like the video, subscribe, peace out. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome.